Welcome back to Founding Core Plays Factorio C Block. In this episode, uh, we may deal with some biters again, or not biters, but worms. Um, I did say in the last episode that I want to try to use up the mineralized water. Because as you can tell, it's a pain in the dick. Now we're finally, this is finally getting used up. Which is what I wanted. I wanted this to be used up. So this can handle 75 out of the 100 within the time limit. And the reason why that matters is because I was trying to figure out what the best ratio would be for this. So let's look at it again. This produces 50 green algae every 20 seconds. Alright. So within a 20 second Time, this needs uh, let's see okay let's write it down so it needs 10 green algae every 2.66 repeat seconds Okay, so we are producing 50 every 20 seconds. So to go through 50, it'll only take us approximately 13.33 seconds, or 13.3 seconds. Because we consume 10 within 2.66 seconds and there's only 50 so that's so five times 2.66 would equal 13.3 seconds which means which means an algae farm mark one is not enough to keep this running non-stop. So let's look at a Mark II. So a Mark II is a crafting speed of 1. So now we'll be producing 50 every 15 seconds. Which means we are producing 3.33 a second. So let's look at that. Let's say 50 every 15 seconds. Alright. And if we need 10 every 2.66, we're almost close to that mark. So even if I bump it up to a mark 2, Just one, just one of these algae farms should be more than enough to support an assembly machine. So what if I left it, let's say I left it as a Mark 1. Alright, so now that means this needs 10 every 4 seconds. All right, so if we're using a Mark One, that would perfect that that would literally be perfect. So basically, a Mark One of creating this is a one-to-one -one ratio to that.
Hmm. So that makes the whole setup of this completely just crazy now. That means I could just plot these down one to one every time, like all the way out. That's freaking sweet. I love that. So let's go ahead and get another Summon Machine Mark 1. And we're going to test that out right now. Uh, I'm going to have to shut this down. speed this up for a minute just so to help clear this out faster and then what I'll do is I'm gonna move all this up here above because as you can tell There we go. Now we're caught up with it. Yeah. Awesome. Now what I could do to save on belt is I could have this plop out on the opposite side, put another one here. And then bam, Bob's your uncle. Let's see how this works out. <laughs> oh. Makes it even better. If I can plop that down. All right. Now, as soon as this outputs, there we go. Which means this is going to produce five every four seconds so we're literally outputting like one every few seconds so two of these should be able to support you know one side one side of the belt now this these two should be enough to support this Now I can also just stack these on top of each other and then just use one side of the belt since this can handle 15 items per side. I do that and that'll save me space but then the same arm argument could be I could just run like four up I mean either way I'm still gonna be using space I'm gonna need space regardless of how you look at it and 
only reason that'll save space is based on your belt. So let's let's think about this for a second. If I'm producing two and a half, is that is that what it was? If I'm producing two and a half green algae a second, and I have two, that's five per s five a second. So so seven and a half items per side. So I could literally have two of these right here using a regular belt, and then have two more using the opposite side. And that would be able to support four assembly machines, Mark ones. But the way that that would look, and I'm just going to use this to represent them, is that then this would have to push up over here just to support all four of those. Or instead of doing that, I can just stack this one on top. Drop this back down to a basic transport belt. Because see, what you could do is have it look like this. but you would have to shift this over so that it can support four assembling machines. And that's what you would end up looking like, having that. When you might as well do basically the same concept I don't know. This I, you can run belt down here and use more resources, or you can do this and just shift this over a little bit because all you're going to be using then is landfill. But shift this over a little bit just so that you can have the belts. You can just share the belts. Ah, oh, it's backing up. speed this process up then. Hmm. I actually need another one. I need more iron, so let's go get more iron. And that'll give me time to think about it. I mean, what do y'all think? Should I put them side by side? Or should I just put four vertically? And then still have to shit? No, it, I don't know. I could use a lot, utilize the belts more. I get more out of my belts. Or I could just use yellow belts and just say to hell with it and just stack them four above. I'm glad the iron's backing up finally. How are we looking on silicon? Alright. Come on. Let that run for a little bit. That'll get us more iron pumping out. Oh, shoot, yeah. We're already almost empty on that. That is awesome. I love that. How are we looking right here? Yes. Keep pumping it out. 
nonetheless, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do, like, now. Because we're almost emptied out of all that sapphite. Which means we're gonna be running low on iron. So I could do this, and then shift it over. Basically, it would have to look like that, like how it looks right now. So if, if I stack them on top, even if I laid them out like this, all these would have to be shifted over here. So I think right now the best solution, and I can still utilize this, This is what I'm going to do. let that connect there. Then I'll take a actually I don't have to do that at all. I don't have any of that. Let's not use that. Use that. down right there. That's my bad. Run that there. Run that up. Then, you can run this all the way over. I was off by a little bit. Then what I'll do is for the belt, come on, go away. For the belt, we'll just do that. That'll utilize both sides of the belt. But then I need two more of those. I do it, I'm going to have to shift this over. I did not mean to do that. Sorry, regrets were made. And then we can do it like this. This can obviously shift over one.
guess she just needs to mineralize the water. Alright. Ooh. I just noticed that. Didn't have it connected up there. Now, the mineralized water is coming in right here. So we need to run that up to where it connects in right here. Alrighty. So if this is needing 10 every 4 seconds, so yes, two inserters would have to be enough. A yellow belt may be what's needed here, which makes no freaking sense, but it looks like that's what's going to you know, be needed here. It's just not, I, it's weird, I don't understand it. See, it should be putting out two and a half items per second. Oh, oh, I didn't even think about it. That's ten items per, per side. No, that would still be fine. Five items on this side, five items on that side. Oh, that also didn't help either because it was backing up. No, because that still didn't make any sense. It wasn't getting all the way down here anyway. Okay, let's look at the mineralized water. I mean, it's still saying that the mineralized water is full, even in the pipes. And it's slowly clearing out. Yeah, I gotta be able to produce more. So, the brown algae, I wanna shift. Well, I guess it don't really, I guess it, it don't really matter. I mean, it does and it doesn't. Because this space right here, this real estate, I could be using to make more of this. But shit. I did not think we wouldn't be going through enough. Why is this not going? Uh huh. Uh huh. So I guess let me remove one of these. Weirdly enough, um, yeah. Producing like too much water. All right, let me remove this one.
Do I have a... Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking of. I will put this back. Actually, let me move it up a little bit. Then I'll put a top up valve there. So that it will only run when it absolutely needs it. Because I need this water clearing out like constantly. Oh, I know why there's so much. No, that won't even need, be needed. So, the reason why this was going, we were going through it so fast, was because we were making the green slash brown algae. But now, since we're not using just plain water, we're not going through it fast enough. So, I can do one of two things. I can move the brown algae up further higher, and then just have it run down that way, and then I can just keep doing setups like this consistently. Okay, this shouldn't be backed up. Why in the shit is this backed up? that output. There. Try to speed it all up faster. I mean, do I need to like this? It shouldn't. literally shouldn't be backed up. None of this should be backing up. I might have to just... I hate it. But I'm just gonna have to make... make some of these... burn through it faster. So there we are, we're making that faster, which, as you can see, we're not even keeping up, in all honesty. Let's, let's make another one. Try to burn through this green algae faster. Pretty sure I had it right. Fifty every because it's a Mark One. I didn't I didn't increase them. So it produces fifty every twenty seconds. Fifty every twenty seconds. And this was needing ten green algae every four seconds. So if this is producing fifty every twenty seconds. And this is needing 10 every 4 seconds. It should be a 1 to 1 ratio. One of these supports one of those. But instead, we are literally like not even able to keep up with it. And I have two assembling machines that should be burning through it faster. I think we're starting to see it now, but it just ain't making any sense. Why it backed up to begin with. I mean, obviously this had backed up for a moment. 
going to speed that up just for speed this up. So let's look at it now. Are any of these... Alright. Now we're going to go back to an assembly machine mark one. Because these should be, like this should be constantly running. Like they shouldn't be backed up. They should be consistently running. And it looks like we're good now. These are all emptying out. Exactly. And I could probably speed it up. The process of them emptying. Just to get it out faster. There we go. Okay, so that solves that issue. So we know that's taken care of. So I guess the next thing is we'll add more. Now, I don't want to add too many because like I said, I don't... Oh, why is there... No, no thank you. on those. This can run all the way to right there. Should I be right up on it? No. I have a bad feeling about it. Actually, no, it'd probably be better if I was. Why I say that? It's because I can just connect the mineralized water through here. Okay, so we're good. We're out of those. I gotta get that mineralized water problem solved, like straight up. Like the regular water situation, I can just cut out some of those, um, what do you call it? I can't think of what it's called right now. Alright, so are we, we're completely out of this now? Are we done? I'll leave them there. I'll deal with that in a minute. Yay! Look at that! Iron is backed up! Woot woot! Haven't had that feeling in a minute. Holy smokes, that's nice. I need basic circuit board. <laughs> that's terrible. Alright, 
here we go. Here we go. So, I need this running all the way down here. Basically, I need this to be able to handle running four. There. That'll be good. Right now, I only need one because I only have one. Another thing is, this will give it more time to travel. But since we're adding more... I'm gonna need to speed up the belt. You can already see where it's already impacting it right now. That'll help speed that process up. I still gotta get lubricant being made because that's gonna become an issue. That'll help burn through all that really quick. And once we get all that burned through, I'm gonna switch this over to the Summer Region Mark 1. How are we doing on mineralized water? Alright, it's not sitting at 100. Like it's being fluctuated. Okay, so now we're gonna drop this back to the Summer Region Mark 1. not needed anymore. Oh shit. We're backed up again over here. I mean, I love it. Just constant balancing act back and forth between the two. That'll keep that flowing. So we're not backing up on this. Alright, so we're good there. Let's get another one rolling.
that being made. Now, we will have the carbon dioxide brought right here. Let me throw some lights down. I know it's pretty dark. My apologies, everybody. There we go. Gotta clean up more of my inventory. I need to get rid of this junk. Alright. That should be flowing. How does the mineralized water look? We're still pumping it out really fast. I'll just add another two more. I was just trying to be cautious because I don't know how much I didn't know how much we would need. And I didn't want this to get shut down because well as you've seen. I want to make sure that it's continuously running, not sh you know, overflowing, or not overflowing, but backing up. So that would just be an issue itself. There we go. And then I need two more. Good enough. Ah, oh, shit. Not a yellow belt. Well, it looks like we're going to be making yellow belts now. <laughs> Which is awesome because we ain't really had the iron backed up to do it. And now we do. But we're not producing anything. But at least all that, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Reservoir? Not reservoir. Reserves that we've had. Actually, while I'm here, let me grab some iron. I do need some iron. I barely even touched the silicon. <laughs> That's good. It's so good. But that's because we were backed up. That's mainly why, but it's really good. I do need some of that. I do need that. We're good on we're decent on inserters. I'm not gonna say we're good. And I need that. Doing pretty good, everybody. Doing pretty good. We've got steel completely backed up. But then again, we're not really consuming it, so it's like, it's not really good. But we have it if we need it. I mean, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. I'm probably going to have to build like a road or something. Holy crap. This is actually backing up. That is not a good sign. Well, I'm going to end the video there. I'm going to have to think about what I'm going to do to try to get rid of the mineralized water for starters. Because I swapped it all over to this. 
thinking that, you know, we would burn through it, you know, pretty quickly. So I guess I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with this charcoal. So, anyways, I hope everyone has a good day. I'll see y'all in the next episode. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment if you haven't already. Thank you so much.